Welcome back. In this YouTube video, I'm looking at pure mathematics exam question on implicit differentiation. Here is the exam question. Figure 2 shows a sketch of the curve with equation y squared equal 2x squared plus 15x plus 10y. Part A, find dy by dx in terms of x and y. Please pause the video, have a go at part A. Once you've got your complete solution, then play the video. Let's have a look at the solution to part A. Now, neither y nor x is the subject of this particular equation. Hence, we call the equation implicit equation. To differentiate such an equation, we have to use implicit differentiation. So we're going to differentiate with respect to x, the left-hand side and the right-hand side. So I've got d over dx of y squared is equal d over dx of 2x squared plus 15x plus 10y. Okay, let's start off with the left-hand side. So y squared differentiates to 2y. But because we're differentiating with respect to x, we need to stick in dy over dx. So we've got 2y dy over dx. Now I'm going to differentiate term by term over here with respect to x. 2x squared differentiates to 4x plus 15x differentiates to 15 plus 10y differentiates to 10. But because we're differentiating a y term with respect to x, we need to stick in dy over dx. So now I'm going to collect my dy over dx. I can take it to the left-hand side. So I've got 2y dy over dx minus 10 dy over dx equal 4x plus 15. I've got a common factor of dy over dx. I can take out the common factor. This gives me 2y minus 10 dy over dx outside the bracket equal 4x plus 15. So now I can make dy over dx the subject. So dy over dx is equal to 4x plus 15 divided by 2y minus 10. That is the answer to part A. In other words, we have calculated dy over dx in terms of x and y. Moving on to part B of the question. The curve is not defined for values of x in the interval p to q. So p and q are not included because we've got curved bracket for our interval. As shown in figure 2. Part B, using your answer to part A, which is dy over dx equal 4x plus 15 over 2y minus 10, or otherwise, find the value of P and the value of Q. Please pause the video, have a go at part B once you've got your complete solution, then play the video. Let's have a look at the solution to part B. Now, if we've got a flat line, okay, a horizontal line, the gradient is zero. So we can write down dy over dx is equal zero. As the steepness of the line increases, we have that dy over dx increases. When the line becomes perfectly vertical, okay, so when the line becomes perfectly vertical, the dy over dx tends to infinity. So over here, we have perfect vertical lines, right? So we've got dy over dx tends to infinity. So this implies that this fraction here, 4x plus 15 over 2y minus 10 tends to infinity. It will tend to infinity if the denominator is equal to 0. So if 2y minus 10 is equal 0. I can solve the equation. So I've got y equal 10 divided by 2, which is 5. I can substitute y equal 5 into this particular equation. So we would have five squared, which is 25, equal two x squared plus 15 x plus 10 multiplied by five, which is 50. Take the 25 to the right hand side. This gives me zero equal two x squared plus 15 x plus 25. Quadratic equation. Now I need to solve this particular quadratic equation. So if I solve it, I get x equal minus 5 or x equal minus 5 over 2. Okay, so this number p is smaller than q. So p has to equal minus 5 and q has to equal minus 5 over 2. And that day, ladies and gents, completes part b of this exam question and this teaching video, pure mathematics exam question on implicit differentiation. If you found this teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.